The Delta State Government has pledged its commitment to mitigating the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on the poor and vulnerable households through its various social intervention programs. Governor Okoa said 13,976 farmers will also be supported under the program to increase food production and facilitate smooth functioning of the food supply chain and 2,529 medium and small-scale enterprises, MSMEs, will also benefit from the program through grants to support post-COVID-19 loans, operational costs, and to enhance the right capabilities. Governor of Delta State of Iokoa made a statement at the flag of ceremony of Result Areas 1 and 2 of Delta COVID-19 Action Recovery and Economic Stimulus DCARES program held at the event center Asaba. More deltans to benefit from this. When we talked about prosperity, it was not about the fact that we are going to just take money and throw it as cash to the people. We believe from the beginning that we can begin to impart on lives. And as you affect one life, you are actually affecting multiple lives. But in the near future, as I speak, in the next five years, in the next 10 years, the effect will be very, very glaring that we have two tranches of funds to be released. One is 1.399 billion, and the other is 450 million naira. That is approximately uh, 1.85 1 billion. In the last poverty index, which is a reflection of what happens with cap, uh, human development. Delta State was found to be, I'll put it the other way, the second most impactful state in taking people out of poverty. Delta State COVID Action Recovery and Economic Stimulus DCARES program. The World Bank applied a performance-based funding instrument for the program. That is to say, states are expected to provide the funding and get reimbursed after verification by the World Bank. For ease of implementation, the program is compartmentalized into three result areas, namely Result Area 1, which focuses on giving grants through social transfers to aged, physically challenged, chronically ill, and urban poor and men. It is also the result area that provides livelihood support grants to vulnerable households, the construction of micro-projects in communities, and lastly, the creation of jobs through labor-intensive public work schemes. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.